Here we are on the far, far south side. Disorderly product news has made it to the far south side. We are in the hundreds, far away from disorderly product land. Where we are is uh, a Chicago police station, a station in which is on the south side of Chicago in the wild hundreds. And uh, one, we're going to see if they respect our right to demand our flag. How are you doing, sir? What is going on? May I bend your ear for a second? Right. Or do you need me to wait while you uh, finish up your duties? Uh, I think the desk, desk office is just left. And uh, they can serve you in about like five minutes, if you can wait. Oh, you're asking me to wait five minutes? Yeah. Thank you, Officer Wayne. I will, I will. Ma'am, I, uh... Well, I'm from a group, uh, an organization you can call it. It's called Demand Your Flag, in which uh, people all over the country are going into police stations such as yours. Can you tell me what police station I'm in? Fourth District. The Fourth District on the South, South, South Side in the Wild Hundreds. Uh, what we are doing is uh, coming into police stations and looking for uh, thin blue line flags. And I'm sure you heard in... Uh, uh, different programs in which they say, trade in your gun and we'll give you a gift card, we'll give you whatever, right, for the community? You've never heard of a trade in your gun program? Well, they do that in certain communities. They say, if you give us your gun, we'll give you uh, a gift certificate for $150. Now, what I'm doing is I'm willing to take any of your thin blue line flags and then I will give you this Betsy Ross, 50 stars, 13 stripes, flags in return. And even trade. Honestly, not that even. I feel like you're getting the better end of the deal. As I'm giving you an American flag, you are giving me a facsimile, a cheap copy of one. So, do you have any thin blue line flags in uh, this uh, foyer? I don't see any, no, ma'am. In fact, I see a lot of American flags, which I'm very, very happy to see. Okay. So, do you have them? Do, do you, are you guys allowed to wear them on your uniform? Not. Do you want to talk to my sergeant? Oh, I would. Yes, yes, yes. 100%. I would love to talk to your sergeant. Okay. Just a little scuttlebutt about me, I'm sure. It's actually 2 o'clock in the morning. Somebody doesn't know how to tell time. Put him on uh, desk duty. How you doing, Sergeant? Is it Sergeant? Can I get your ID for me? I cannot pronounce that. I'm sorry? It's Wiki 2203. There you go. Thank you, Sergeant. Well, I'm from a group called uh, Demand Your Flag, in which we go into different police stations and we ask that uh, any thin blue line flags, any foreign flags, flags that are not that of the United States, be not hung in the people's building, in uh, the common area of the people's building, as it is uh, against Rule 42 in CPD policies and procedures. It's a partisan behavior. It's a political behavior. Uh, so I ask that any thin blue line flags you have up here in the common area and not only do I ask that you take them down I'm gonna do you one better I'm gonna give you this offer I'm gonna let you trade that thin blue line flag in for every one you give me I have bought out of my own pocket a Betsy Ross 50 stars 13 stripes flag in which I'm willing to trade you and you are obviously getting the better end of that deal right you would not like to do that I'm not making any comment oh thank you but do, do you have thin blue line flags here no comment. So you do. Do you mind showing me then to you? I mean, it's a Where's Waldo kind of search, treasure hunt. No comment. No comment, huh? Okay. Well, let me look around for a second here and see what I can see. See, see. I feel like there's one somewhere. It's a two o'clock, buddy. Get a digital clock. I know the hands are probably screwing you up. A gentleman unsolicited told me to go home. It's one o'clock in the morning. But it's usually uh, people are a little bit rude when they put on a uniform or when they get a badge. You know, you give somebody a badge, a gun, and a souped-up car, and all of a sudden they're Rambo, right? 
That gentleman is no more than 150 pounds. A stiff wind would blow him away. I hardly think he would have that same uh, attitude if he were not amongst his friends. So, uh, like I said, I don't see on anybody's uniform or anything, but I do feel the fact that you don't want to answer or engage with the public. You are to seek out, and you don't even have to seek out. I came to you, yet you don't want to comment. Is there a reason why you don't want to engage in your public, in your, uh, in uh, a conversation with the public? Is uh, no comment. That whole seeking out and engaging with the public part of the CPD policies and directives, you said you must have, you must have been late for that part in the sergeant's exam, huh? Sure, right? Just belittling, huh? You don't want to, it's, 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 it's beneath you to talk to the public, right? The civilian, the civilian officer over there had much more to say and was much more interactive. Why don't you guys trade shirts? Why don't you give him that white shirt and give her... You take that civilian, I think that'll be, I think we'll be in better hands at that point. Do you see anything, uh, do you see my logic there or no? No comment? There, I got you, see, look at that. You didn't even have to say it, I said no comment for you. Well, I'm gonna look around. Uh, I'm gonna tape uh, my public servants in the course of their duties as the Supreme Court has upheld. Uh, if you don't believe that, uh, get, uh, William Rehnquist, Sandra Day O'Connor, Clarence Thomas. Get them on the phone. Hold it in landscape mode. That's portrait. That makes no sense. We live in a landscape mode. That, that's absolutely ridiculous. But thank you for the cam back. Cam back, you can blame it all on me. That's the most, you know, I don't know if... I don't know if your subordinates think that they're trying to antagonize me by putting their camera up. That's hardly bothers me, especially when you do it in the wrong way. It makes them look foolish. So this gentleman, in his infinite wisdom, told himself, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to point my camera at him in the complete wrong direction. Oh, get off camera. Oh, exit stage left. Embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing. Now, I did come in here very, very polite. I will, will I mean, you can't say that I didn't. I was more than hospitable. You can ask the woman over there. I just wanted to open up a dialogue, and uh, for some reason that has offended and uh, sent shouts from the peanut gallery as they've been walking that way or that way. Right when they're right at the exit, they uh, decide to say something. They hardly said something when they were right in front of me. But uh, so is so so is the beast, right? I guess when it, all you have is a hammer, every problem's a nail. My pajamas are nicer than what that guy's wearing to work. Come on. Yeah. Sir, I don't want to... You, uh, you have a lady's ID over there at the corner of uh, the table. I'm going to be a... I'm not going to get on a camera, but this obviously belongs to somebody that should be in your care, custody, and control. Yeah, that's me. I'm a good citizen. So try not to leave people's uh, personal information that they used to give you right open in uh, the public because it, it being under your care custody and control that would be uh, your responsibility if that information was disseminated to the public luckily I don't do that so let's try and run a tighter ship here it looks like a field trip this gentleman has literally walked back and forth and had a smart comment to say every single time yeah w w when you're over here stop and say it you have 90 of your friends you can hardly be that intimidated but thank you, Sergeant. Try and run a tighter ship here. I don't want to find people's Social Security cards in here and whatnot. Can I have one of these? I can have one, right? Thank you, Sergeant. And a tongue depressor. Domestic violence hotline. Domestic violence hotline. I don't... That's a little bit of a... I don't know. And domestic violence. We'll leave that one alone today. But thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies, especially you. I want to get you on camera because they usually love you. They love the ones that give me a great attitude. Trust me, they will be all over the internet talking about what a great public servant you are. And you know what? ID for me, please, ma'am, so I know who you are. Because it's, it's, it'll benefit you. 
Can you give me your uh, name, rank, and star number? I'm sorry, what is it? Really? I under No, no, I, I mean, you're not a citizen, but they you rank, generally do have star numbers. They ge I understand they call you a citizen, but you generate... Yeah, I understand they call you that because you don't have law enforcement powers, but if you're generating documents on behalf of uh, the uh, police department... So what was your last name? Because you're doing good. Phillips? Philip. Okay, so you guys call... Uh, she, she's, so she doesn't have a law enforcement officer. She's more of like a, a community uh, officer. Uh, call off and talk about Officer Phillips. She is engaging, bright, had a smile. Very, very lovely. Very, very easy to deal with, which what you would think you would get. Um, seeing as they're public servants. Thank you, ma'am. You should, you should have a star number. You should have a white shirt. You should have one of those really nice, shiny hats. And you should walk around with it telling them what to do. Because uh, you are what we need in this uh, city. Thank you, ma'am. Sergeant, I bid you good day. Hard time for gun crimes. Project safe. Thin blue line, they had it in there, but they didn't want to show it to me. I couldn't see it, so I couldn't necessarily make an equivocation about it, but... Uh, you heard him. He's not going to make any comments. Probably the smart thing to do when you're dealing with uh, the lip boxing heavyweight champion. The mixed martial artist of the esophagus. Arms carved out of granite. And I talk. God damn. Here we are leaving the wild, wild hundreds. Where one of the gentlemen said it's one o'clock in the morning, go home. That's kind of what I felt like saying to you. Don't ever show up again. One o'clock in the morning, it go home. What am I, ten? And it's two o'clock in the morning, genius. Get a digital clock. Those hands are screwing you up. <laughs>